Hey everyone, so today's video is gonna be all about makeup deal breakers for me. So these are products that I just tend not to buy and I'm not attracted to just because of these specific reasons. So they're kind of like turnoffs and pet peeves of products. And these are kind of types of products that I just don't buy anymore because I realize they're just not for me, they don't work for me, or they're just a hassle to use. And I believe Sarah Rose created a video like this. That is where I got this concept from. And she created it a while back and I'm finally getting around to filming it. So I'm really excited to sort of create my own version of this video. I will have her look video linked down below in the description box. If I can find it, I'm pretty sure it was Sarah Rose. But let's just go ahead and get straight into my makeup deal breakers. So the first one is face palettes where I can't use all of the shades in. So most face palettes are kind of curated to have like maybe a light, medium, and deep shade so that I can work for all skin tones. And I know brands are getting better with this with creating a face palette for each skin tone instead of kind of trying to make it all into one face palette. And I also just tend not to buy face palettes in general at all because I just don't reach for them. I tend to just reach for my single blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. But face palettes is specifically where I can't use all the shades if there's like a deeper bronzer shade or deeper highlighter shades. I just never ever reach for them and also I can't dip into those specific shades so I can't use half of the palette sometimes which is just kind of annoying and almost a waste of money so I just tend not to buy face palettes in general unless I know I can really get use out of all of the shades and it's something that I will actually use. Next up is products with bulky packaging. Now there may be some exceptions to this where I just really, really want to try the product even though the packaging is a little bit bulky, but generally I don't like bulky packaging and big packaging. I really like mini products and smaller products. They're just easier to use, more travel friendly, and just easier to fit in my makeup collection as well because bulky packaging can also be really annoying to store. So it can just be annoying to have to store it and to use it. So I just may not reach for it as much just because it's so bulky and big that it's just difficult to use and to have it out on my desk or to fit in my drawers to store it. So products with bulky packaging, I just don't gravitate towards. Next up is something that I've kind of realized and definitely stopped purchasing is foil packet samples. So I did relatively recently purchase some samples from Kosas and this is what made me kind of actually discover this. And obviously these little foil packets are so bad for the environment. There's barely any product in them in the first place. So you can't really sample and try out the product to the extent where you know if you wanna buy the full size or not. So I've kind of just stopped buying these in general and also stopped adding these to my cart like when you make a Sephora purchase, how they have the free samples. I've just stopped getting the free samples in general because one, I either don't use them or there's no product in them to begin with so I can barely get one use out of them and they just end up being pointless. And they're also super bad for the environment with all of that waste basically for almost nothing. So I just find there's not really any benefit to these foil packet samples. I prefer samples that are like actual mini versions of the product, not like foil sample products. And then most of the other makeup deal breakers have to do with eyeshadow palettes, which I feel like I'm kind of picky when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, which I need to be because eyeshadow palettes are my weakness. So. Anything that will stop me from buying an eyeshadow palette is a bonus because there's so many eyeshadow palettes out there that really do stand out to me and I really do want, but I can't buy all of them because I'd never be able to get use out of all of them. So eyeshadow palettes that are all matte, I really don't purchase. I had one of these in my collection. It was like one of the first eyeshadow palettes that I ended up purchasing. It was on like a super sale, so I just ended up buying it. And I literally like never used that palette and obviously I ended up declaring it because I never used it. But it was an all matte palette and 
really I never wear an all matte makeup look. I always have some kind of shimmer metallic shade on my lids. So I'm going to want those metallic shades to dip into. So I'm just never really going to reach for an all matte palette. I also find that it's just not necessary because first of all, I want shimmers in my eyeshadow palette. And second of all, I don't want to have to dip into a whole separate eyeshadow palette just to get the matte shades when I can have the matte and metallic shades in one palette. I've also stopped purchasing larger eyeshadow palettes. So palettes that are larger than like 12 to 15, 16 ish shades, I just don't purchase. And I've pretty much decluttered all of them from my collection because I never reach for them. They're just so large, which again, kind of goes along with the bulky packaging. They're just hard to store and hard to use. If you have all your makeup out on your desk, they're just so big and bulky. So I don't like huge eyeshadow palettes, really probably like 16 shades is the maximum that I would go, but I do prefer smaller, like nine to 12 pan eyeshadow palettes. So really I don't purchase larger eyeshadow palettes anymore. And I haven't purchased an eyeshadow palette in general in a really, really long time, but I do have some on my wish list that I would like to add to my collection soon. But I definitely won't be adding any eyeshadow palettes to my collection that are over 16 shades. 16 is definitely my maximum, but I do prefer less. Also with those really large eyeshadow palettes, I feel like there ends up being just so many duplicates within the same palette, so it's just not worth it. You don't need like four matte brown medium shades because that's just like not necessary. I feel like a lot of these really large palettes could be culled down to way smaller palettes and palettes that are more curated to specific wants and needs and specifically to what I want. So there's just other palettes that are better curated for my collection that I'd rather purchase and that just tend to be smaller. I don't, I just don't use big eyeshadow palettes and if I do use them, I'm not gonna end up dipping into all of the shades. The next one is kind of just like a me thing. Let me know if you guys think this too, but like weird shaped pans and just like different shaped pans. So. If it's not like a square or a circle, I don't know, it just kind of like turns me off. Like triangular pans just seem weird to me. I feel like it would almost be difficult to use. And once you like hit pan on them and expand the pan, it just be like the product left in those little corners. So I feel like just weird shaped pans other than like squares or circles just don't appeal to me in eyeshadow palettes. And also if the pans are different sizes, like if one of the pans is way bigger than the other, I really, really don't like this because usually it's either like a matte cream shade or a highlighting type shade that ends up being the bigger pan or just any other shade, which like they don't know that that's the shade that I'm gonna use the most. So why would you want a shade one specific shade that is bigger than all the rest. I feel like it's not guaranteed that you're gonna use that one more than the others. Like you could end up with your favorite shade being a small pan in the palette and your least favorite shade being the big pan, which I feel like is just not, it just doesn't make sense to have different size pans in eyeshadow palettes. Like I like everything to be consistent and sort of the same across the board because I just feel like it doesn't make sense to have different size pans in eyeshadow palettes. Let me know what you guys think about palettes that are like this, where there's different size pans for each color. And then the last little like deal breaker and pet peeve of mine is pans in either eyeshadow palettes or face palettes sometimes where they're not separated. Like it's all one pan, but it'll be like four shades in one pan. So there's no distinct like separate shades. It's just all in one. I will probably post photos of examples of these kinds of products just so you guys can really see what I'm talking about. But you guys probably know what I'm talking about. And this doesn't make sense to me because obviously it's hard to dip into one shade and only that shade. Well, I feel like it is a good concept to kind of curate your own shade. Like if it is like a bronzer or something where it goes from like lighter to deeper and you can kind of curate your own shade within that pan, but it's like, you're never gonna get the same shade twice almost because you're like, you can't dip into the exact same ratio of the exact same shade every time. So I feel like pans that are like, multiple shades in one pan just does not work for me. And I just don't like those types of products. 
I also feel like it's not like realistic because you're not always gonna want to use all of those shades and they're all in one pan so you may it's kind of like face palettes where you'll end up using like one half of it maybe but then the other half you'll probably never really dip into like if it's a bronzer bronzer that goes from light to deep like I would never really deep dip into the deep portion of it so I feel like it's almost just like a waste of product I'd rather the pans just be separate let me know what you think of these deal breakers and pet peeves of mine and let me know what some of your guys's deal breakers are for products and just products that you won't buy for specific reasons I think it's really interesting to hear about and if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up I also do post new videos three times a week, so if you want to see more from me, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified every time I post. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.